man. Come on in. Come on in with me really quickly. Just want to jump on here real quick. I felt the prompting of the Holy Ghost. I felt something leap into my spirit. I just posted something on Facebook, and I wanted to share something with you really quickly. Come on. Do me a favor. Come on in with me real quick. I just want to encourage you really quickly and give you something quick. I just want to encourage you quickly. Come on, if you can, jump on in with me real quick here, y'all. I want to encourage you and tell you about something that's just leaped in my spirit, y'all. I'm telling you, I heard the voice of the Lord. Amen. I don't believe this was just for myself. I do believe this is a time where God is about to elevate. God is about to equip. I just want to read you something really quickly, and I'm going to be off of here quickly. It's, it's a quick word, a quick word to release, and I just want to encourage you. The scripture says in Psalm 75, 6 and 7, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor the west, nor the south. But God is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. I'm telling you, I just feel that God is about to promote. God is about to elevate. The Bible says the humble shall be exalted. I want you to be encouraged because the Lord put in my spirit and said, I'm literally getting ready to bring elevation to folks' lives. I'm getting ready to elevate those that have been suffering in a place of a servant, my God, trying to push other people. God said there's getting ready to be a shifting and the changing of the guards because I'm getting ready to elevate all those that have been overlooked, all those that seems to look like. Uh, you've been carrying guilt and shame. And God said, there's getting ready to be a new season of elevation. It's getting ready to come. And I know you look like the underdog in life right now. Some of us, some of y'all look like the underdog. It looks like things are going wrong in your life. It looks like you're never going to get ahead. You're never going to get to that place where God has placed you. It looks like you've been travailing and fighting as much as you can just to get ahead. But I'm telling you this, God said he's literally getting ready to elevate the underdog. People counted, been counted out, thought that you would never amount to anything, said that you would never be to the place that you've always dreamed about. God literally put in my spirit. I was sitting in my desk at work. God said, he put in my spirit, said, I'm getting ready to elevate the people of God. I'm getting ready to elevate those that have been humble for years. They have literally conquered and endured the season of humility. They endured the season of brokenness. And God said, I'm literally getting ready to elevate those that have been humble. The humble shall be exalted. This is getting ready to be a season where God is getting ready to elevate those that have been operating in the humility. You've been crying out for your families. You've been saying, God, I've been sacrificing some things, going out without some things in order that somebody else might live. God is getting ready to breathe upon those that have been sacrificing themselves, my God, for the greater good that somebody else can live. And God is about to elevate those that really have the burden of humility, that want to see kingdom move forward. God is getting ready to elevate those. I'm I'm telling you, I feel a burning. I feel a yearning in my spirit where God is getting ready to trouble. God is shaking up some things and he is literally getting ready to elevate those. I sense elevation in the spirit. I'm telling you, I sense elevation in the natural. Promotion is getting ready to be released for somebody. Even on your job, I know it looks like you've been overlooked, but God said elevation and promotion is coming. Your increase is getting ready to overtake you. Hear what I'm telling you. Promotion and elevation is coming. I'm, I'm telling you. I, I'm not going to be in here long. I see Apostle Marcus Murray on here, but I'm, I'm, I was sitting at my desk and the Lord said, tell the people elevation is here. Elevation is coming. I just believe with the sincere urgency If those that are humble, the Bible says, once again, I'm quoted, the humble shall be exalted. This is what the scripture says about it. In the book of Psalms, I read that for those that are just coming on here. Psalm 75, 6 and 7 says, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor the west nor from the south. Here it is. Verse 7 says this, but God is the judge. He putteth down one. And set up another. Come on. I just want to encourage you and tell you in this season, it's a setup. 
I know you've been going through what you've been going through, but God is literally setting you up to release you in the right time, in the right season, at the right moment. My God. Hallelujah be unto God. I know you've been going through what you've been going through, but it's a setup because your your oil, the kingdom is in need of your oil in this time. You suffered what you suffered. It was a setup for you to be displayed at the right time. It was a setup for you to be released at the right time. It was a setup for you to be released at the right moment. I want you to understand this. There was a shifting going on in the spirit. Hallelujah. With the oil of the true servant, my, I'm telling you. It's getting ready to come around where well, God needs you to be in place. I'm telling you, those that it seemed like you've been overlooked, you've been talked about, you've been ridiculed because they said your vision was bigger than what you had to be able to do. To do. I'm like, Can I help you? If your vision is bigger than you, you're on the right track. Because if your vision is smaller, it's, 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 it's bigger than what you have in your resources, you know what's from the Lord. So if, if your vision is controllable within your resources, it might not necessarily be God. But if your vision is bigger than what you have in your possession, have in your bank account, what you have within the, the, uh, the realm of the help you have around you, I'm telling you, God is birthing and he's going to send increase. And I want you to understand this. Don't get excited about just people in this season. God's getting ready to release resources. Oh God, I'm telling you, God's going to release resources. So those, my God, that look small, God is going to allow you to release big visions so you can be more effective in kingdom. Oh God, I feel you right now. I'm telling you this, uh, it had been things you've been praying about, but it seemed like, Lord, I don't have the resources to do it. I don't have the things or the ways to mean to do it. I'm telling you, well, look small to us. God is getting ready to breathe upon those small things. That's why he said he, he, he says he uses the foolish things to confound the wise because it looks foolish to somebody else. You shared your dream with somebody else and it looked like that you would never be able to amount to do it. They laughed at you. They ridiculed you and told you, ain't no way in the world you're going to do it. But I'm getting ready to tell you, God is getting ready to release the resources in your life. And you're getting ready to elevate and you're getting ready to expand in kingdom. I'm telling you this. God is sending resources. God is sending people and people are going to be your resource. I just believe like this. God will literally send a millionaire by your church at the right time to write a check. I just see. I got that type of faith. God will redirect somebody that was going down the street that has the resource to fund your vision. Oh, God, I'm telling you, Marcus Murray, you better tap in on that, man of God. God will send somebody down your road where you might be that has the resources to fund everything you've been dreaming of. I just believe that the Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I'm telling you this, if it's bigger than you, it's God. If it's bigger than your resources, it's God. I want you to understand this. God is about to elevate both spiritually and naturally. He's getting ready to do something with the underdogs. It's time for the underdogs, my God, to rise up. Stay in position. Don't let what you're going through now discourage you and feel like it's not paying off for you. I'm telling you, there's getting ready to be a big payback. You've been suffering. You've been dealing without because you wanted to be what God wanted you to be. Or you said, God, I'm going to be faithful. It's on your job. You've been on your job for 10 years. You've been overlooked three times. God said promotions getting ready to come. It's going to pay off for you. I'm telling you, you've been on your job for two years and it seems like you have more talents in you, more abilities in you. God says it's getting ready to pay off. Promotion is coming. Increase is coming. Oh, I, I speak and I declare Glory be to God. You might have got a 2% increase on last year, but I'm praying, hallelujah, on this year that it's, that it's tripled. That you, that you, you, you might get that 10% increase or raise this year. God's getting ready to do bigger. Promotion is coming. Elevation is coming. God is trying to release abundance into the hands that can handle the resources. Oh, God, I'm getting ready to get off on here. I'm getting ready to get off of here real quick. I'm, I done got excited. I done got stirred up at work, y'all. God is getting ready to bless those that can handle the resources. You've been a good steward for five years. You've been a good steward for 10 years. God is literally getting ready to send the resource your way to fund your vision, to fund your business ventures, to fund you. And God's going to breathe upon it. 
Elevation's coming. I just want to encourage you and tell you, I felt a quickening in my spirit. I felt God said elevation. I'm getting ready to elevate. Promotion is coming. Promotion is on the way. So I want to encourage you, whatever you put your hands to do, do it all in the name of the Lord. You say, God, you birthed it in me. God, your will, your bill. Come on, somebody need to say that, God, you put it in me. If this is your will for my life, God, release me at the right time at the right moment that it literally everything just falls into place. God already released the provision. God has already spoken it over your life. Now is the time for you to stay where you're at so he can promote you. I just feel don't move. Don't move too fast. Don't veer to the right. Stay right where you are because God's about to elevate you. God is about to send increase you. Oh, see, I sense that here. I'm try- I promise you, I'm trying to get off here. I sense frustration. In your frustration, God has you there because he's getting ready to promote you. Glory be to God. He, see, in that place, what he's doing right now, he's testing your capacity. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. He's testing your capacity to see if you can handle more. My God. What you will do in frustration with what you already have, God is testing your capacity to see if you're expandable. My God. Are you in a stretchable place where he can give you more? But I'm telling you, be encouraged because increase is coming. Elevation is coming. Promotion is coming because you're te- you've, you've passed the test of capacity. Some of y'all, you didn't give up. You didn't throw in. You didn't say, I quit. You didn't say, I'm done. You didn't walk off the job. You didn't walk out of ministry. You didn't walk away from the church. But because God tested your capacity and you survived the test, you're getting ready to be promoted. You're getting ready to be elevated. Trust me, mark my words. I say that if I be the man of God, I believe by faith that folks are getting ready to be promoted. Increase is coming your way. Elevation is coming your way because your capacity was tested. Now God can release the resource. I encourage you dream bigger, vision bigger, expect bigger. God wants to do bigger in your life. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. That's what the Bible says. I want to encourage you and just tell you I love you. I believe God. And I'm expecting to hear some testimonies. Hallelujah. I'm expecting to hear some testimonies and say, God did it. God released it. What I've been waiting on. I've been waiting on it for a year, man of God. I've been waiting on it for two years, three years. You've been waiting on something. God said, stay in place because promotion is coming. Elevation is getting ready to hit you. Increase, overflow, abundance is getting ready to smack you. I know you're waiting on that tax check, but God said, I'm trying to give you promotion. When Jabez prayed, he said, Lord, enlarge my territory. I know we talk about that as just money, but God is trying to give you land. He's trying to allow you to affect your region. He wants you to affect your, 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 your city, your town. God's trying to give you a regional shift. Oh, God. Somebody might get blessed on that. God's trying to give you a regional shift so that your blessing that you're getting ready to have, that next resource is going to affect your region. Glory be to God. I'm telling you this. I see my sister-in-law on there. I told you before, uh, uh, Marsha, your your name is going to be attached to zip codes. My God. Hallelujah. There's going to be cities that you're, you're going to have to go visit cities and states. You're going to have to travel. Come on, keep a backpack because you're getting ready to travel. Oh, God. And God is going to make provision for you to make your presentations. I see you making presentations telling you, I I just need somebody to believe that. You're getting ready to travel. And God says, I'm going to make provision so you can release and give your presentation and let people and people are going to connect with you because what you're saying is so relevant. Hear what I'm saying. I'm getting ready to get off of here. But I want to encourage you. I'm telling you, dream bigger. If I, I see some musicians and some singers on here. I want you to understand, don't stop writing. Get in the studio. Trust, oh my God. Find somebody that you can trust that can handle your vision and can handle your oil. My God. And can I help you? All of you are not supposed to be singing and releasing your oil in front of everybody. That's why it's not working because everybody can't handle your oil. Everybody cannot handle your assignment. My God. But God is going to send people resources to put you on display at the right time. I'm telling you right now, I'm getting off of here, but I'm telling you, God's getting ready to elevate. He's getting ready to promote, 
Increase is coming. Abundance is coming. Y'all be blessed. I love you all. Praying for you. Pray for me as I be what God is calling me to be in these last and evil days. And I guarantee you, there's a test coming. There's a, I mean, not a, there's a testimony coming. There's a shift coming and God is getting ready to bless because your promotion is here. The Bible says the humble shall be exalted. The Bible says in verse 7 75, Psalm 75, 6 and 7, he taketh one, God is the judge, he taketh one down, but then also he lifts up the other. My God. So what I'm trying to tell you is some, some people are, are dealing with your occupied dominion. They might be occupying something right now, but God said they're replaceable. Mm, glory be to God. But I love you. Be encouraged. Happy Wednesday to you. Stay blessed. And stay in place so the resource can find you. Jesus' name be blessed.